All right, everybody, it's first thing Sunday morning. We're gonna come down here and get the fish room lit up. You can already tell I'm spooking Butterbean here, standing too close to his tank with the lights out, and he could tell I was there, but couldn't actually see me. I could hear him splashing around. So come down here and get this switch turned on first. Got the two guppies, and then I can see Butterbean's reflection in the corner back there, so he's still doing okay. That also turns on my little crab tank. And I don't know if it's going to come out on camera or not, but I can see one of them in there moving right now. You see it right there. So there are still some crabs in there. I believe I'm down to three now. And yesterday I reduced the lighting on this tank. I took the little CFL that was in there out and I put a different one in so it's still pretty brightly lit for such a small tank but it's less intense than it was so the chances of us actually getting to see those crabs is a little more likely and I might do some modification to that and make it look a little bit different maybe provide a little more shade in there for the crabs get it standing up on a table or something so we can see it a little better I don't know that's just kind of a work in progress right now uh, right now we're just trying to get the lights turned on everywhere make sure everybody's doing okay Everybody looks all right in there. Once again, I skip over that tank, my Grammy tank, because this one's just easier to turn on. The switch is right there on top. And everybody seems to be doing okay in here. Except what is that little squiggly thing in there? Of course, we're only going to get to focus on the glass here. But it's a little squiggly thing it looks like a worm but there it is again it looks like it's got a head on it or it looks like it's attached to something it's not coming out on camera it's so tiny I've never seen something that looks like that before I've seen the detritus worms there's my, my uh, mystery snails the little black mystery snail is still in there doing okay and then the white mystery snail is right there, or the golden mystery snail. Um, I've never seen a worm that looked like that before. I've seen the detritus worms in this tank. I know I've had them. And usually when you see them, you see plenty of them at the same time. Look, there's another one, unless that's the same one that's just made his way around the tank. It looks like it's got a head on it, and then like a little squiggly, wriggly body behind it. If you can see... There, now you're actually getting a little tiny bit of a look at it. What is that? I know what it looks like, but what it looks like should be a single cell and not a squiggly worm like that. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen a worm like that in any of my fish tanks before. Again, I've seen detritus worms and I've seen planaria, but I've never seen anything that looks like that. So if anybody knows what that is, by all means, let me know. And that's why I shoot these videos of me turning the lights on. You never know what we're going to find when the lights first come on in the morning. So this switch is down here on a plug strip and it turns on both this Garami tank here and everybody looks okay and it also turns on my native tank at the other end of the room so we'll have a real quick look around here I don't see anybody looking unusual or floating my red tiger lotus is bouncing back nicely from when I trimmed it up not too long ago so the grommy tank looks okay I don't see any little wriggly squiggly things in the water in here it's interesting to see both my Moon Lake Garami is this close together. They normally uh, squabble. So, coming over here, we'll get my Black Ghost Knife Fish tank turned on. I got two fixtures on this tank. And it looks like the little kitten has come down to join us. And everything looks alright in there. Let's see if we got any floaters. Nobody floating in the native tank. Everything looks good so far. Yeah. 
and then this whole entire side of the room is on one switch back here on this plug strip Meow. and everybody looks okay here my gudgeon yesterday had a few more scrapes and scratches on him and it looks like they're actually healing up quite nicely so maybe today will be the day I get my uh, chemi clean treatment started in this tank my air stone I do have multiple air pumps I could always get a different air pump but I have one that's kind of hooked up and ready to go and I just grab that when I need it so I'm using that air stone in a bucket with some plants right now and I guess they're treated well enough see there you can see some of those scrapes on this side a little more but again that's actually looking better than they were yesterday so he is healing up or I should say she's healing up so whatever I need to get an air stone in here and I need to get some of that Chemi clean aquarium treatment going on in here and once I do this tank will get cleaned up quite nicely and at some point I really do need to get that loach out of there I think it lives down in this little hole right here but I'm not sure anyway everybody's looking good as far as I can tell got my new angelfish in here still looking okay there's that one and there's the little tiny one right next to it so they're both okay and in my quarantine tank I don't see any dead neons I still cannot believe I haven't lost a single neon uh, all four coolie loaches are still alive so we had another successful night no losses at all and the kitten's still down here joining us all right, everybody, I'm going to get the overhead light turned out, and I'm going to get started on my day. It's Sunday, and hopefully we'll get some a uh, few odds and ends down here taken care of today. Maybe we'll get a little work done on this tank again, and I need to get this light fixture taken care of. I want to do a water change on this tank, so there's always plenty of stuff to do down here in the fish room. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. And then don't forget this one is my brackish tank with the now world famous butter bean, the figure eight puffer in there. So thanks again everybody, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you real soon in the next one.